I'm really going to keep it 100 with you all on this one. I saw this film and I thought, oh no. But man, was I thoroughly surprised by the outcome of checking out the new film, Run Nixon. And we're here to bring you that review right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today, we're going to be reviewing the new film, Run Nixon, which is in theaters right now. Yes, it released in AMC Theaters November 22nd. So I checked out this film, and upon the opportunity to screen this film early, I saw it and I said, oh, I, I, I'm not sure. And the reason was because there wasn't so many familiar names attached to it. Uh, one of the familiar names was Little Fizz. I'm like, okay, Little Fizz being the lead of a film, it reeks a certain DNA and aesthetic, shall I say, and the type of film quality I thought I was going to get. I was not familiar with the co-writer and director, Sky Directs. Also, I had an opportunity to talk to him about this film, and it's not to sway my opinion here at all, but it did give me a lot of perspective and hard work that got this film done. Nonetheless, after all the hesitations and even traces that reeks, you know, I'm going to be nice here, that reeks certain other types of films on a certain other streaming service, shall I say, this film was actually really good. I had a really good time with this film. And the film, as, it, as I mentioned, it stars Little Fizz, who plays the character Dre. Dre has a past, we'll just leave it at that, but he's not doing quite good financially. And then, um, a parent's worst fear is their, their son Nixon uh, gets sick, gets to the hospital, and finds out that he needs a surgery, life-saving surgery, but they need the funds to back that. Um, and, uh, and, and when it comes down to Nixon's mother, Stacy, she's like, no problem. I'm going to make this work. She hits, to, she hits the streets. She ends up robbing somebody. <laughs> and let's just say she robbed the wrong person. And that person now is after Dre. And by all means, not after Dre, but his entire family. Because he's going to get his money back. So, with that being said, Lil Fizz plays Dre. Um, you go to uh, Nixon, who's played by Empress. Emperor, excuse me, is his name. Uh, this young kid is talented. I'm very interested to seeing um, his career. I can't pronounce his last name correctly, but Emperor Kaois, I, be I believe how you say it. Um, but I'm definitely looking to see more of this young kid. He, he was definitely um, on his way. But the standout of this film, hands down, is our bad guy, our villain. You know, or truly just the person who wants to get their money back in Slice. Played by Jordan Lee Brown. This guy, and I and I and I truly mean it, this guy is one to watch. His performance in this is low-key one of the best performances I've seen this year. Um, you really bought into him in terms of being uh, this gangster, um, just how menacing he is and how he's strategizing, you know, trying to get back at Dre. I mean, you just buy into this character instantly. You 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 fear this guy. It's definitely a guy you don't want to run into. Not Jordan, but Slice. But Jordan puts on a performance um, that totally is worth the watch of this film alone. And then I got to put respect on Little Fizz. Little Fizz definitely held it down as Dre. He just blew my mind. Um for whatever bit of hesitation I had with him in terms of being an actor here, um, he he definitely held it down. Wavy Jones is another name that, yeah, you definitely know the guy. Uh, he plays the character uh, Kingpin. Um, but, you know, when it comes down to uh, people who has portrayed Biggie on television, there's nobody more iconic than Wavy. He steps into this film uh, as I again the character Kingpin as the Kingpin. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, listen. As an independent film, this film did a lot of good things. The production was solid. When I take a look at Sky Direct's background in terms of music videos, 
um, you see that aesthetic. Uh, there's there's very good cinematography in this film. Good music, like the, the the score and the soundtrack just takes this movie to the next level. But it all comes together very well, much like how you want in a music video. But it just took that and gave you a feature length film. So like overall, the story is good. Um, the twist, the twist. The twist, the thing I you don't want to give away here. The twist at the end of the film I thought was very good. I didn't see it coming. Um, I also, because, you know, beyond the conversation with Scott Dress, you also see this film laying a foundation for a sequel, which is good because they built very good characters in this that you want to invest in, that you kind of want to see what else is kind of happening in this world uh, where, where the streets is rough and tough and, and folks are holding down particular blocks or different territories, should I just say, uh, and, and, and the, the little system of things that's kind of going on. So, like, yeah, I know a sequel is coming, but beyond that, they really laid the foundation to really have you invested into so many different characters. Slice being one, Dre being another, I mean, even Stacy. you know, there's, there's still a, 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 some 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 questions I may have with her, uh, but they leave you with a cliffhanger. Um, with, with that cliffhanger, uh, definitely sets up the potential for more, but, uh, you know, the cinematography is good. The, the music was great. Um, I, I, I enjoyed the, the script. There was definitely some really good dialogue in this film. Uh, I just could not be more high on a film that I really didn't give a fair chance initially. But once I got into it, I said, oh, this is good. This is good. So, like, while this may not be on your radar, I'm here to tell you to go check this one out. This one this one definitely is one that you should watch. Rather, you think, like, oh, boy, Little Fizz acting. No, 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 no. He did his thing. And you really buy into it. Um, I also will say, too, because uh, there's, like, a strip club presence in it. I also thought that, like, the production in scenes or moments that led up to like big parts of the plot also had a lot of substance in it and i, I referenced the strip club because like the strip club is just like a transitional scene at times but there's like important things happening they even make the production within that like very solid you know um but nonetheless i thought run nixon top to bottom solid film really enjoyable Good time, good production, good acting, um, and definitely, folks, you want to keep an eye out for for uh, to see where their career goes next. And also with Sky Directs, uh, you know, I, I believe this is his first uh, his feature length film debut. Um, way to knock it out the park. A lot of people don't step up to the plate and hit a home run their first time. And I think he, and, and again, his story in the interview, which you can check out. Um, and again, not to be biased to that, but even before you know getting to talk to him. Uh, you you really do see a lot of the the his previous works and videos and stuff like that really amount to this moment that it makes it almost a no brainer that you would assume that he would put together a bomb film and that's what this is so for just over just under two hours it's about a hundred and thirteen minutes I believe it is uh, this drama thriller is worth a watch so go out your way check it out run nixon again in theaters as of november 22nd folks get in the comments let me know your thoughts about this once you check it out and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon